Wow, that's sexy. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. I show it's Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Today, we have a request. Karina Martinez says, Nikki, you should do boozy cupcakes. My 21st birthday is coming up soon and I really want to have fun, but I'm not much of a drinker. Plus, the end of summer is coming to an end really soon. Pleasey. Well, Karina, first of all, happy birthday, slap a high. Second of all, boozy cupcakes sounds amazing. Those are two of my favorite items. I likes the booze, I likes the cakes. Put them together, have a fiesta. Speaking of fiesta, let's do margarita cupcakes. Cause this week, I'm going to Santa Barbara for fiesta. If you're from Santa Barbara, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not from Santa Barbara, Fiesta is a time of the year where the whole town shuts down and you just drink margaritas and watch Spanish dancers. It's great. That's Fiesta. I think we should make some margarita cupcakes for that. Sounds celebration worthy. Also, your birthday and end of summer. Let's make this dish. Step one, make an actual margarita. You know, for inspiration. I also think that our dishes tend to come out more tasty when we cook with a buzz. This is just for quality assurance. Yeah. Perfect, now we can get started. Booze and cakes and booze and cakes. Oh, what are we doing again? Cupcakes. Second thing we're gonna do is preheat the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Boom, did it. Then we're gonna line a standard muffin tin with liners. Look how cute these liners are. Tell me that's not a party. Try, I dare you. You're wrong. Did it. Now what we're gonna do is the recipe calls for half a cup of buttermilk, but we don't have buttermilk, so we're gonna make a buttermilk. We're gonna like make our own buttermilk. Woo! Buttermilk! Don't margaritas just make everything more exciting? They do. We're gonna grab ourselves a bowl, a small bowl. It only needs half a cup of liquid. We're gonna take our milk, half a cup, pour it into your bowl. Boom, did it. Then we're gonna take about a half a lemon or half a tablespoon's worth of lemon juice and we're gonna put it into our milk. And we're gonna stir that up a little bit and we're gonna set that aside for 10 minutes at least. I'm learning. No one even told me to do this in the recipe. It's so exciting to learn things. All right, it's a party. Now, in a medium bowl, you gotta have a lot of bowls if you want margarita cupcakes, I guess. We're gonna put our dry ingredients, okay? So we got one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Put it in your bowl. Hello, thank you. One and a half teaspoons baking powder. Put it in your bowl. And a fourth teaspoon salt. Boom, we did it. We're gonna mix that together. Oh, don't. Party foul. Great job mixing. Okay, we're gonna set this aside now. Here, you sit next to the buttermilk hack that we did. Friends, all right, next step. This is by far the step I think I'm most excited about because I finally get to use the stand mixer that Ashley, shout out to Ashley, got me, got us, not just me, us, for our wedding. Both of us are gonna use this. Obviously. I'm super super excited about it. I wanted a stand mixer forever and I'm I've never used one. We're gonna figure it out. It can't be that hard. Stop, I'm talking. I you know this has never been used. Can you see that? Because I can't I can't go any further. Yay, grand opening! Oh please. Like me. So we're gonna use the whisking attachment, I think. I think that's a good one, good choice. And we're gonna put a half a cup of butter at room temperature, which is a stick of butter. This is Earth Balance. You can use regular butter if you want to. I am not. <gasps> Whoa, cat-like reflexes. That's what margaritas do for you. We're fine. Okay, one cup of granulated sugar. And then I think you just put this down. Okay, and um, using an electric mixer on medium high speed, beat the butter and sugar together until pale, light, and fluffy, about five minutes. Pale, light, and fluffy, like me during the winter time. Ayo, burn, burn myself. So good. Oh. What do you think medium high is? Like a, like a six? Yeah, get it, get it. Five minutes of this, huh? All right. And it just does the work for you. It's like you're not even baking. That's so cool. I wish we had stand mixers for every part of our lives. All right, see you in five minutes. Wait, go off. Okay. It looks pretty pale, light, and fluffy now. It's been about five minutes. I even had time to make Steve a margarita. Honey, I made you something. Thank you. You're the best. Thanks. You can't. Stand mixers. They do the mixing for you, so you have time to make your husband happy. Thanks. Get one. That's my ad for stand mixers. We did it. We made a husband happy. He was very pouty before when I made myself a margarita, and he didn't get one. Hey, could you close that door again? I don't want him to hear us talking shit. Are you talking shit in there? Mm-mm. So now, we're going to reduce the speed to medium, which I guess is probably a four. Okay, that's fine. And we're gonna add one egg at a time. However, I'm not gonna add eggs. I'm gonna do apple.
applesauce in place of eggs. You can add one egg at a time. We're using two eggs. You're gonna beat it thoroughly after each addition. If you're using applesauce in place of eggs, a fourth a cup of applesauce per egg. So one fourth, mix it. One fourth, you're good. It's a party. Once your eggs or applesauce is combined completely, we're gonna scrape down the sides of the bowl. Hi, weird mixture. And we're gonna add one and a half limes worth of lime zest. Lime zesting is probably one of my least favorite things to do, I've found. But I did it. Here are said limes that were zested. We're gonna add all the juice of these limes. One and a half of limes into our bowl. We're also gonna add two tablespoons of tequila. You just get some cheap silver tequila. Make sure you get like white or silver. Don't get gold for these particular cupcakes. But get a cheap brand because it's not gonna get you drunk. It's most of it's gonna burn off in the cooking of it. So it's going tequila buzz. We made it work. Two tablespoons. Do it. Oh shit. Or a little more than two tablespoons if you mess up a little bit. It's a party. And a fourth a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're gonna mix this until combined. It says the mixture will start to look a little curdled at this point, but not to worry. It'll go back to normal soon. It does look very curdled. It's pretty gross looking. It kind of looks like olive oil and ricotta cheese. That's not cupcakes. I'd say that looks pretty combined. Curdled, but combined. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate adding the dry ingredients and the buttermilk that we made in three batches. So, a little bit of dry. That looks really gross. You look nasty. You look, I hope you look much better soon. <laughs> you look really bad. So we're doing this on low speed and we're gonna combine it each time. Now a little bit of buttermilk. Ew, some got on my phone. And more dry ingredients. And the rest of our buttermilk. And the rest of our dry ingredients. Extend to mix until just incorporated, which I think we've got right now. Then we're gonna give it one last stir with our spatula. Cause this is just to make us feel good. Like we did all this mixing. What does it taste like though? Oh my God. Wow. It does taste like a margarita. Holy moly. All right, I'm excited about these cupcakes now. So now um, we gotta put this batter into these cupcake liners. As you might've guessed, if you've ever made cupcakes before, we're just going to scoop these into our little liner. That's so fun. Invest in one of these. Somebody sent this to my P.O. box and I'm very grateful for that. This has been so helpful. That was like exactly enough for 12 cupcakes, which is awesome. We're gonna put these in the oven for about 25 minutes, rotating the pan halfway through. Hopefully we remember to do that. See you in 25 minutes. Cheers. Okay, so apparently our margarita cupcakes are done because the thing beeped at me a bunch. That went so fast. Let's check and make sure that it's correct. Ooh. Toothpick test. Hold up, everybody wait. Everybody wait. Hey, put your drink down. We're testing some shit. I'm gonna test the biggest, fattest one. Sorry, you're not that fat. Ooh, no, 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 not that clean, no. Nope. Okay, we're gonna put it back in for another couple minutes because it's not that clean. Gotta have a clean toothpick test. It failed. Sometimes that's what happens at parties. You get tested after and fiesta. Let's do three more minutes. How are you? How have you been? Okay, cool, I'll see you in three minutes. Okay, I guess we're checking on these again. But I think we're okay. We're gonna let those cool for five minutes, five to 10 minutes. Let them be cool, please be cool. Maybe you need a cigarette or a Marlboro Light. Maybe you need to lean up against a locker a little bit. You do you. And also, but like a cooler version of you. Let's turn the oven off. It's very hot. I will see you in five to 10 minutes. Okay, so our cupcakes have been chilling for about 10 minutes. Now we're gonna transfer them to a cooling rack. I don't have a cooling rack, but I do have a cutting board that I'm gonna put on the stove, which is not at all a cooling rack, but it makes me feel like I did something. So we have to wait for those cupcakes to cool completely before we frost them. So while that's happening, we're gonna make our frosting. To do that, we're gonna use our standing mixer again. Yes! No work forever. Where'd my margarita go? It's not a party anymore. All right, it's the party again. Margarita numero dos. Coming through, coming through. Killing the game. I'm a fan. Thank you. Okay, what are we doing then? Make it frosting. Oh. How did we do this before? Oh. To do this, we're going to beat 
one whole cup of butter this time at room temperature. I'm using Earth Balance again. Use whatever you want, but one full cup. Who knew that a bunch of fat, sugar, and tequila would taste so good? We're gonna beat this on medium-high heat for five minutes. Well, not we. This thing is gonna do it for me. I'll see you in five minutes. So our butter's been being mixed for five minutes now. Five minutes is actually a really long time, and I can't believe we used to do that shit by hand before. This is life-changing. We're adding powdered sugar, two and three-fourths cup of powdered sugar gradually until it's incorporated. So I'm just gonna go one cup at a time. Ready? Oh my god. Oh, that's rude. Oh, we're supposed to reduce the speed to medium low. Shit. Medium low. That makes way more sense. If I was trying to make sense, I would have done that. Okay, three-fourths a cup more. So much better. Medium low. Duh. Okay, now we're gonna increase the speed to medium for 30 seconds. Let's do it. It's a party. Dude, this thing does such a better job than I used to do with my hand. You're good at your job. Thank you. Now we're gonna add a tablespoon of lime juice, which is just whatever the rest of my third lime is. Two tablespoons of tequila and a pinch of coarse salt. How do I have all these ingredients? I've been making too many things on this channel. That's a pinch, right? Now we're gonna beat this on medium high until incorporated and fluffy. Okay, so this looks pretty fluffy to me. If it doesn't, you could always add more more powdered sugar to make it more fluffy. I think it looks great though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bowl thing. Gonna put like two tablespoons of tequila in it. Yeah. Then we're gonna brush each cupcake with tequila. Oh, it's a party. I'm so excited. I've never heard of this. This is a real life party. You're invited. Everyone's invited. Well, maybe not everyone. I don't like everyone. And now, I actually learned this trick from you guys. We're gonna take a piping bag, put it in a tall glass like this, and we're gonna fill it with our frosting. Before Tasty Tuesday, Day and the comment section of Tasty Tuesday. I had no idea how to fill a pipe in bag. I, oh my god, this is really full of frosting. Maybe you don't fill it this much full of frosting. It's coming out. All right, now we're gonna frost these motherfuckers. Yes. Wow, these look amazing already. Wow, this was exactly enough frosting. I've never had that happen. The last little bit of awesome, if you wanna do this, it's not my favorite thing to do, but if you want to, add a little bit of lime zest to the top. And you're golden. Fucking lime zest, fuck you. Like seriously, it's not my favorite at all. And look at that! We got a margarita cupcake. Is it tasty? We don't know. Let's find out. There's only one way to find out. There's only one way to find out. And that's on if, I, you. if I judge it. Thank wow, you. Wow, wow, Thank wow. You. Here, let me fix this for you, tall man. Too bad you don't have me in your own personal home. I picked out the best one. It smells really good. Yeah? Yeah, it smells great. Have you tasted it yet? No. Do you I swear? I swear that I've been tasting along the way, but I have not tasted it. I believe it. It's been a journey. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, that's so different. It's good. Yeah? Yeah, it's good. Sometimes different doesn't mean good. No, no, no. It's, it's different and good. Be honest. Yeah, no, Are I you am. Being honest? Oh, yeah. Here's the thing. The texture is a little off. Really? Like, it's very runny. Oh, the frosting? Yeah, yeah, the frosting. Oh, because I didn't wait till it was completely cooled. Okay, right. So, it's, that's why it's different. Taste-wise, it's really good. It's not too sweet. It's a nice, Dude, yeah, that's nice fucking flavor, bomb. Right? It's definitely a margarita cupcake. No. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I should have waited a little bit longer to frost it. They weren't completely cooled. It's bomb. But this is bomb. It's good. I just recently found out that Steve didn't like my old margaritas where I used to use orange juice and he likes them without orange juice. I mean, and he's been lying to me the whole time. I don't lie to my wife. I don't lie to my wife. That's why I don't want you to pull this No, no, the here's back. the thing. I didn't know what it was missing. Dude, these are bomb. These are so bomb. Woo! You made a lot, right? Katrina good. Martinez. Good job, Katrina. Damn. No, it's not her well, recipe. Happy, it's her birthday. It's her birthday. Happy birthday! You happy should birthday, make Katrina. these. Wow. Everyone she, should make these. She's 21 now, right? Yeah, she's 21. Mm -hmm. 100%. These are tasty. Are they tasty? Yeah, hell yeah. They're tasty. I'll have another one <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can they get you drunk? I don't know. I'm already drunk. I'm gonna say we're gonna find out. Maybe <laughs> if you're if you just turned 21, never drank before, maybe they get you a little bit a little bit of a buzz. You're it's like a kombucha again. buzz. Wow, that's sexy. That's hot. Is it though? I don't know. They might get you a buzz. I don't know. I, I, I honestly, I'm not starting from square zero, square one, yeah. square zero. What is it? Square one. A square negative zero. I'm not starting from there. I'm starting from a different level. So really? I think that. Holy. I think that. Yeah. <laughs> Make these. To the Nikki that's editing this right now on Monday night in her pajamas. <laughs> this is still funny. Don't take any of it out, okay? All right. That's all I have to say. Oh. And I love you. I only try to I only got this much of a paper towel. <laughs> Keep it all in. Leave it all in. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for requesting Boozy Cupcakes. I've had the best time making them. <laughs> the best time. <laughs> <laughs> Viva la fiesta! Nikki, you're at the balls. Leave it in. All right.
拜。